Hello YouTube, uh, my name is Joseph, uh, this will be my first ever vlog about anything, I've never done this before so bear with me here, this is my first ever vlog, but particularly today I want to talk about accountability, uh, because it's a pattern that I've noticed over time, where people, just people in general, I want to keep it in general, I'm not going to talk about any specific uh, maybe I'll give some examples here and there. We'll see how it goes. Uh, once again, it's my first vlog, so hopefully I'm not really on any kind of track or anything. I'm just talking. Uh, but particularly the topic is accountability. And one thing I notice about people nowadays, you can't tell anybody anything about themselves. Even if it's like something that bothers you, um, something that affects you uh, emotionally or even, you know, financially or whatever. You can't tell nobody without it being automatic grounds for confrontation. Uh, it's a media confrontation. You know, since when is the last time you heard somebody say, you know what, maybe I am kind of struggling with that and, you know, I'll work on it. I'll see what I can do to make the difference. But instead, you're usually met with equal discontent. Uh, you know, people are just, they just jump down your throat. I'm not going to talk, I'm just talking about people in general, I'm not going to talk about any particular race, any genre, I'm just saying specifically everybody it seems, nowadays, nowadays particularly, on Facebook, on YouTube, you can't even spell a word wrong and correctly or have a, an auto spell check or something, uh, change a word on you in a comment and somebody's always got to correct you, it's like there's just no humility whatsoever. There's, there's just none. So, so I kind of want to get into perspective a little bit because it's a perspective thing. Uh, I was watching a, I was watching a, a video about some Japanese women who were going into these, uh, they were like uh, Buddhist training camps or something. They were, they were learning kung fu and other various uh, rituals and. Uh, um, Yeah, they, they were just learning Kung Fu, so, in other disciplines. And basically, one thing I've noticed, and this is how people used to be, even here, you know, you, one of the girls, you know, they, they went through quite a bit of uh, trauma during their experience. I mean, hell, they beat the crap out of each other all day, but they got enough humility to shake each other's hand at the end, like, you know, have a good one, I love you, blah, 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 blah. And they go on with the rest of the day, and they do whatever they do, but the point is, they're able to talk to each other and say, you know what, you're always doing this or you're always doing that. And and I noticed the girl that was taking, you know, the incoming uh, criticism was like, really, am I, am I, you do see me doing this? Okay, well, I'll work on it, I'm sorry. But I'll work on it, I didn't know it. And, it, and, and I thought that was just profound because you can't tell nobody nothing nowadays. You can't say nothing to nobody about themselves. And, and granted, there's a certain amount of, there's a certain level that people can take uh, about being told about themselves. Yeah, nobody likes to be told about themselves, of course not. But there's a certain level to where you have to introspect a little bit in order to make a difference, you know, to make change. You know, people want to talk about change all the time. It's like, how can you have change if you don't think there's a problem in the first place? You're not going to look for a solution to a problem if you don't believe there's a problem in the first place. So how am I going to find a solution? How am I going to change? You know, if I don't think I have a problem. Oh, there's nothing wrong with me. I mean, I'm holier than now, you know. But obviously, what you're doing is wrong. So that's another thing I noticed. Like, I tell anybody anything about themselves, it automatically gets flipped back around on me. Like, it's, it's I'm tripping. It's my perspective. It's like, that's just a form of manipulation. All that is is it's blame shifting is all it is. It's, it's the lack of uh, introspection. So... You just don't have that anymore. And I blame, I blame social media. I blame mainly mainstream media. I mean, just look at our politicians. You know, all that was was a shit-slinging fest. That, that's all it turned out to be. Let's see what we can dig up on each other and just talk about it, you know. I don't want to get into politics because people are so sensitive about that. You can't even... You can't even talk about your position anymore without the potential of getting lynched, you know, or, or 
you know, people just jumping down your throat. You just, it's too sensitive. So, I have my positions about that. I'm not going to get into that stuff yet, but <laughs> you can't talk about it. But anyway, I want to talk about, once again, accountability and the lack of accountability with the most people nowadays. And it's a perspective thing. Uh, if, if I don't think anything's wrong, I'm not going to find a solution. So we already talked about that. But that's what pays the way for change, though. It's just having that little bit of humility. The ability to be able to say, you know what, and actually reflect on what somebody's saying. The thing is, even if you disagree with somebody, and if you think they're completely wrong, that's not, that's not a reason to be in a conflict with somebody. It's not a reason to argue. You should still, and I'm talking about what people should do. It, you know, I'm really speaking for myself because I practice this all the time. I try to anyway. I try to be as modest as possible with people because people are just so uh, outright, just s straightforward, you know, inappropriately sometimes. So, uh, particularly at work, but at least consider what the person is saying when you're listening to criticism. At least try to look at it, even if you disagree. Just look at it. Because one thing I found is when you're telling somebody something. It, even if it's not about them, it's just about a position that they disagree with. They're too busy thinking about what they're going to say next to try and shoot down what you're saying, as opposed to actually listening to what you're saying and getting your perspective. So again, it's a perspective thing. If they're bent on their own perspective, they're not even going to consider your own pers perspective. So it's a roadblock. It's a roadblock to change pride. And a lot of times it's a warranted pride. Unwarranted pride. A lot of it, I've noticed, is like the, uh, the street mentality, you know. That's a roadblock. Because it's like, it's street mentality conditioned pride. Uh, you know, they have a perspective, and it's a self-image perspective. If you ask me, it's, it's, it's being impressionable, you know. Who's got the bigger... The, the, you know, the biggest chain, who's got the, the best shoes, who's got, you know, the best outfit, who's got the best bars or lyrics or whatever, who, who's cool and who, you know, who's more street, who's more thug, and all it is is a roadblock, man, like, it, it's street, it's street mentality, conditioned pride, that's what I call it personally, and I struggled with it myself, it's something that I even struggled with, and I had to overcome it. So, I mean, I, I'm able to identify it in other people when I see it because it's something that I personally struggle with myself. So, but in order to change, and this is something that I had to do, and it took, you know, it took quite a few people. If, if you have five, six, seven people telling you the same thing about yourself, it, 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 it might be something about yourself that you know, don't, don't five and ten people tell you the same thing about yourself that it ain't something you're struggling with, you know. But the street mentality will tell you, oh, no, it's me against the world, bro. All y'all are fucked up, you know. And, and that's just, it's a pride thing. Uh, so it's just something I've noticed with just, it, and people in general, it's just how people are just so confrontational. They're just not receptive to new ideas or another perspective or a perspective that's in direct conflict with their own perspective or beliefs. So it's a belief thing, too. So, if I can leave this video with anything else to say, I guess, because I'm going to kind of wrap it up, is try to practice more introspection. If you believe in change, if you want change in your life, try to introspect more. Try to look at yourself. Quit trying to change everybody else, you know, because there's this blind thing, and, and they, I don't want to get too much into this social psychology jargon, but there is a, a perspective that keeps you blind to the self, and that blindness acts as a roadblock to change, because once again, if you don't think you have a problem with yourself, then you're not going to change the problem that everybody else sees, but you don't see, so try to consider what people say when they're talking about things that they see about you. If something is affecting them about you, at least consider it at the end of the day. Even if you totally disagree, just at least listen to it. At least consider it. 
and then do a little bit of self-reflecting later on and, and see what you can do to change it. It's simple, man. Quit having so much pride. Just swallow your pride sometimes, man. Nobody's perfect. We're all human. We all make mistakes. Nobody is perfect. Nobody's 100% objective all the time. It's impossible. It's human nature. That's what we do. We make mistakes. We talk behind people's backs. That's just what, it's human nature. We gossip. That's what we do. So, just because somebody calls you on your shit doesn't mean they're a hater or whatever, you know? And haters. <laughs> That's another topic. I'll do a vlog on that some other day, but anyway, guys, thanks for listening. I just wanted to talk about this. my first ever vlog, and I appreciate your time. You guys, have a good one. God bless.